René Debien, Team Canada's number one goaltender. And while we're talking about Schroeder, it's actually Abigail Levy who will be taking the net for New York. And hey, how about that? And so there she is. Well, they got a lot of faith Stepping in both in. goaltenders because like you said, they've played both of them. This is a big goalie coming in at six foot one. She takes up a lot of the net. And the captains meet at center ice as we get teed up. Montreal second home game and a chance though at redemption after home opener spoiled at a sold out Verdun auditorium. Right away, both teams getting their sticks on the puck early, but loose and skims down deep into the New York zone. And a chance for Poulin, she'll just bat it. What a wily shot. She's fired up. That's not the player you want to give that chance to. And there, Eldridge tests Debian early on, going the other way, both sort of tentative shots. Tentative shots, but huge opportunities early on. Point blank opportunities. Again, Marie-Philippe Poulin in the slot. Not a player, she's got such a shot that you want to give those chances to. She's still on the ice, but now the puck being worked along the far wall by Ella Shelton. Of course, the league leader in points, the lone player with six points right now. And she got three assists in that game on the weekend the most. And now a chance for Laura Stacey. She's got room, she shoots, and Levy turns it away. Laura Stacey, we talked about her elite level speed, and that's New York getting caught on a change. They had two defensemen going to the ball, to, back to the player's bench, and not the time you want to do that. And now it's New York trying to battle for it in the Montreal zone. Stacy, she tries to tee it away, but Peyton Levis scoops it in, looks for Woods down there in the slot. She's also got some support from Chloe Orard. And now on the near side, Taylor Baker. She's got her stick in on it for New York. Again, a team that completed the comeback, but certainly would like to get on the board first. Nothing like chasing down that 2 nothing lead from the opposing team. Well, not a position you want to put yourself in too often where you're chasing games, and they haven't been in that position very much. With the 4 nothing win against Toronto in their season opener, it was pretty impressive display of offense. Kayla Vespa, far corner. Got help from Hobson on the point, and now right in front. That skims by Downey Landry. Some sustained time here in the Montreal zone just to the outside. And again, having to work off the wall. And so it will be Dempsey who will tee it up. She looks for LaFour, and Montreal goes off for a quick change. New York putting on some speed now. Downey Landry backs it down deep. Davian plays it off her stick. Quick to the chase is Madison Packer for New York. Montreal getting their fourth line on the ice right away. And we take a look at some of the chances that these teams have had so far, and it's Laura Stacy again. She can be such a threat, and you turn the puck over to her, and you know she's going to turn on the jet. She keeps her feet moving, drives in wide, and gets his shot off. Of course, that was a bad change on the part of New York. They're going to want to take care of that and make sure the puck is 200 feet down the ice. Well, Norcross was teeing something up for Shelton, and now back behind the net, Montreal just looking to clear. Talk about Stacy. she had nine shots in that weekend game, the most of any in a single game. And here's a chance for Montreal, shoots, and that's wide. These players just trying to find their space on the ice. Katie Tabin as well along the blue line for Montreal. Katie Tabin, who's been a, a solid defender for this team, and another one that came out of the PHF and was solid with the Toronto Six in helping them to win the Isabel Cup last year. Poulin taking this offensive zone draw for Montreal. She's at 60.7% in the faceoff circle. Taking arguably the bulk of the faceoffs for Montreal. And that was Abby Rock that stepped in with her. She's playing the wing, but she is such a good faceoff player as well. Now, Teresa Vanasova, she's got four assists already on the season. No goals yet. But those four assists tied with Ella Shelton for the most in the league so far. And now another chance for Montreal. They're keeping it in play. Vanisova serves it down. Poulin right behind Levy. Far side. Montreal trying to get it in. They can, so Mont New York. All kinds of ice here at Place Bell. Kind of space on the ice, I should say. 
first time for both these teams playing in this venue. Montreal played at home Saturday at Verdun Auditorium. And now another chance for Laura Stacey. She shoots up high that time off the glass. There for the rebound right in front. That was Kristen O'Neill. Now New York takes it the other way. Levis pops it off the far wall. Montreal just got to get by Emma Woods. They do, but Baker keeps it in from the point. Leah Lum fights for it. And Leah Lum, what a versatile player she is. She's, we've already seen her play both forward and defense with this team. We have a penalty being assessed, a tripping call. So some power play action early on and special teams will be big for these both of these teams tonight. Well, Montreal with so much offensive power, but their power play is only sitting at 8.3% right now. So something that I'm sure they're going to want to work out given the talent that they have. You can see that trip as they go into the boards. And so New York is going to go to the penalty box. But a team with so many power play specialists as well as Aaron Ambrose, Poulin, Stacey, that you know they're going to get this going at some point. Yeah, Olivia Zafudo in the penalty box. Montreal with the second worst power play in the league. Meanwhile, New York's penalty kill. They are the second most penalized team after Montreal. Of course, you look at the power plays in the league right now, and surprisingly enough, it's Minnesota that's sitting at the bottom with the offensive power they have. Here comes Poulin. She's got support. She's got Stacey Near. Shoots, and that pass just mistimed. But what a chance. Laganier keeps it in. And Stacy can't protect it from the midpoint. And actually, Aaron Ambrose, rather, gives chase down to Davian. And again, now an even bigger chance for Stacy potentially, but New York able to come in fast. After a change, nearly getting caught on it. Brooke Hobson, she rims it around. Ambrose again, tees it up in front. Stacy's there, same with Poulin. We've had some chances already on this power play. The first of the game, first for Montreal. Ambrose locked in. Finds Poulin, shoots up high. So fast. Looked like Levy got a piece of it. She's so dangerous from there. What a shot. Poulin again. Another chance on Levy. No, she'll tee it up back. Plenty of pressure from Joanna Fellman. Montreal able to get in and get set up, but probably their best chance of this power play so far has come off the rush. Poulin takes this puck all the way down the ice. You can see the speed through the neutral zone. She pulls this puck over to her backhand to find herself space and then tries to hit Laura Stacy back door with that saucer pass. Looks like the puck just stays up in the air just a little too long. Stacy's not able to bat it down. New York now still trying to find their way out of their own zone. and. Plenty of pressure from Montreal. We round out the homecoming Elizabeth Giguer and Jade Downey Landry as well. All from Quebec. And with that, we're still scoreless at Glass Bell. These players are expected to bring a lot of offense here tonight. Definitely players to watch. And I like Ella Shelton. I mean, I'm a defenseman, Daniela, so I watch her and the offense she brings, but she's pretty. She plays well in her own zone as well. And of course, both of those players named to the three-on-three All-Star Showcase teams. We'll get to more of that, but that big announcement in the BWHL yesterday. Yeah, pretty exciting stuff. The NHL All-Star game comes to Toronto, and we get to see the women play as well. Countdown is on, but right now, Montreal and New York, it's scoreless. Montreal's had a chance at a power play. Some good looks so far, testing Abigail Levy in net for New York. Same netminder they had less than a week ago in New York. when that game finished 5-2 in favor of Montreal. Well, it starts to get interesting as you get into the season to see how these teams play their goaltenders and what the rotation is going to be. There's so many good goalies in this And here's a chance for, oh, that one just skims off the stick a little bit. Claire Dalton, who has a goal already on the season. Still plenty of players looking for their first goal. Montreal sends it back to the end boards. Montreal with 14 players who've recorded at least one point in the league so far. This is 
game number five for both teams and some big physical play as the crowd reacting. Of course, you talk about the players who have scored goals for this Montreal team, and Catherine Dubois is one of those. She's just slotted into the lineup of the last three games. This is her third game. She got a goal in her first game. Yeah, one of the reserve, for the first reserve player in the league to be called up and on a 10-day rather contract. But here comes Alex Carpenter. She's got all kinds of room, and Debierre reads it right into the glove. Take a look at the physical play in this league. And of course, the fans love it. You can hear the fans right away. It looks a little bit WWF when the, or WWE as it is now <laughs> called, as Dubois comes down with a little bit of a body slam on Ella Shelton. And those two players battling for the puck. Of course, nobody wants to lose that battle along the board. Now Baker and Vespa trying to tee up a pass, bringing it closer to DBM. But Montreal already, Stacy. To O'Neill, then back again. Stacey takes it far. Drop pass over to Bette. Both of them goal scorers for Montreal already. Stacey looks to feed it. Bette right there, right behind the net of Levy. Got her eye on it. And again, just teed back in. Madison Bizzle, rather. Montreal rims it around. Leah Lum has it from the point. Sets it back, and another chance right in front. Laura Stacey's right there, but Puck stays far. Bizzle. She tried to get it back down, but New York, the turnovers keep turning. And Kristen O'Neill just serves it up and sends it back. Well, she does a great job to back check on that puck through the neutral zone and send it right back down and really disrupt New York's breakout. So Fudo looking to clear this one out. Has to do it down deep, Jaguer. The nifty pass, but again, New York forced to bring it back into their own zone to create some space. Puck loose, and DBM will just play it off the stick easily. I like that idea that she didn't freeze that puck. She kept it moving, gives her team an opportunity to get back down the ice. Yeah, here with some momentum coming in fast, Gabrielle David. And the battle just continues again in the New York zone. Plenty of pressure. They were heavily outshot by Minnesota in that first period on Sunday. Savannah Norcross doing what she can for New York, but Buck gets scooped up by David. And some physical play by Ella Shelton closes off that momentum for Montreal. Sarah Lafour was in the mix too. Now Jillian Dempsey in Burgundy as Montreal. Tabin takes it away with a feed to Dubois shot wide. To Bougeot. She was looking for the pass. New York able to keep control. Norcross will dump it down. And New York Woods will tee it up high and again easily. It's like it floats into the glove of DBM, but tension is mounting here in the first period. Coach Corey Chevry drawing up some plans for her team on the board on that timeout, giving them her expectations. Not sure if that's offensive or defensive, Daniela. Maybe it's her way to win this draw. Perhaps it's what she expects when they get down the ice. The expectation, I'm sure, is that Moulin wins this draw, but Abby Rock has been very good in the face-off circle so yeah. far this season. 63% coming into this game. So very close percentage-wise, but it all comes down to what happens on the ice. It almost felt like there was no clear winner, but New York with a chance. Alex Carpenter just sneaks in that shot, turned away. That's a quick release shot, too. Yeah, but turned away just as quickly by Davian. So now Taven takes her time. She's got some space and in the glove of Levy this time. Back and forth we go. Shots on goal, Becky, even at this time. So O'Neill will take the neutral zone draw for Montreal just outside New York zone. And it's New York that will keep it away, at least for now. Chips it down. Levis giving chase is Chloe Orard. But working it now is Woods Orard. She tees it up. It's a nice give and go behind the net. Fabian makes that save off the pad. Rebound collected to the far wall. New York unable to get some passes in between Feldman. And there's a big shot by Levis. Just goes right off the wall towards the net. Montreal with some speed. And Sophie Bette, she gets stopped. 
in her tracks. But again, Montreal able to shovel the puck back down deep into the New York zone. New York's second line with a really good shift in the offensive zone. Woods, Orard, and Levis. And look for them to be an offensive threat. We so, talk so much about their top players. And now right in front, Jaguar. She looks defeated through. He had Jade Downey Landry, but that was a close call for Montreal. And here they come the other way. Downey Landry stops that. And they'll have a redo. Jaguar shoots. DBN makes the save. Wow, that's a good idea by Debian to hold on to that puck and let her team reset. Bit of an unfortunate giveaway for Montreal. One that's uncharacteristic, just looking to make that centering breakout pass right in front. Unfortunately, Jaguar cannot quite corral that puck. She had a glorious opportunity. Puck just bounces off her stick. She was all alone out in front. Might be a good thing for New York. Road teams seem to have had the edge so far this season with all the PWHL teams. Yeah, big edge. In fact, the fact that Minnesota is the only team to win at home, and that's why road teams have won the eight of the first 10 games. But Montreal, they're doing what they can. They want that redemption, especially from their home opener. Aaron Ambrose calling this a second chance at a home opener because it's at a new venue. And Savannah Norcross is going to do the work herself from New York. She's going to take the shot. She does. It's wide. She's got support from Packer, far side. And they'll send it around. Shelton now on the ice. She knows how to score. That physical play will be allowed. It'll carry on in New York. Try again. Norcross sends it far side. Montreal from the neutral zone this time. We'll bounce it back behind Levy. And the speed of Dubois coming in. Dalton out there on the ice as well. As Bougeot gets jostled around. And Katie Taven taking some physical play from Norcross. Baker with a little bit of patience to Zafudo. Zafudo shoots it down. Not looking for the shot on net, but rather a chance for the line change. And Orard just gets pinballed right between some players. Catherine Dubois with a good shift, and she's been very visible. Again, a player that is a reserve player, has gotten herself into the lineup for the last few games, but you see her do all sorts of really good things out there. And Chloe Orard chasing down Catherine Daou back behind the net. And New York hungry, Emma Woods as well in the mix. Of course, she's the one who scored that overtime game winner. But here's Montreal again. David was looking for the pass. Dempsey has it now in front and score! <laughs> job on that shift not only to pursue the puck but then to get open in front of the net for Dempsey you see her come down the ice with a head of steam gets to this puck first throws the pass tries to throw the pass out front goes behind the net but she comes right back out front and gets herself into that open area that's a good heads up play she doesn't wait around she knows where she has to go after Dempsey gets this puck behind the net and she gets there quickly no New York Jersey is able to get out and cover her in the slot. What a moment for number eight. And that's her second point of the season. She got a first assist on Kennedy Marchman's game winner against New York. Got to feel good. That was just six days ago, not even a week ago. And now Montreal teeing up a second chance right here from the point. Big shot! It's in! player she's been for this team in her ability to play both offense and defense she's so patient with the puck when she gets it in all areas of the ice you see this on the blue line as well and what a shift Montreal puts together getting in on the forecheck creating separation winning that battle and then touching it back to the point Vanasova gets right back to the front of the net to make sure it's hard for Libby to see this puck as it comes through well, that's how you get things loud at Glass Bell. Leah Lums, first goal, first point 
of her BWHL career, and it's felt a little bit like a moment in waiting because she's had so many chances, and, and the smile says it all. Well, and I think for all of these players, you get your national team players, they're used to playing in front of this, but some of your players coming from NCAA, PHF, they haven't seen a crowd like this. So when you put a puck in the net and you get that cheer, what a feeling. What a feeling for the home team again, coming out strong here. Not where New York wants to be. You know the feeling of being down 2-0. They were in Sunday's game, but they mounted that comeback. And in front of the net, Levy tested again. That one a good save. So close contact. Teresa Vanisova right at the doorstop. And again, New York now. They try to tee things up wrong. Big shot by Baker. Wide off the far corner. Shelton keeps it in play. Montreal right now stringing together some really good shifts. New York just looking for a response. And now Montreal against Stacy. She's going to take it a little too. Down low in front of the goal, and New York will just clear that one out, Becky. A smart decision, and Montreal really getting themselves open in front and getting those opportunities. But I love the fact that they're able to string multiple shifts together like that. Of course, again, New York looking for that response. That's two quick goals and a third point blank scoring chance. And Laura Stacy tries to send it down the slot. But New York now will carry it away. She's got some room. She's doing the work. Orard on her knee. But Montreal bowls it over, and Bete will. Play it that way to head off to the bench. Chloe Arard, what a great one on one move. And there's your tutorial for a defenseman on take the body. She pulled that puck in. What a toe drag. Oh, what a save by Davian. Let's see. Vanisova now with five points on the season. And this is just the fifth game for both of these teams. Daniela Ponticelli alongside Becky Keller. For Montreal's second home game, and now Montreal teeing it up. Another shot in front, that one off the shoulder. Looked like it would almost bounce behind the back of Abigail Levy, but makes a save. New York trying to clear out that rebound. Montreal digging in. They want to add to it. We're in the final seconds of the first period at Place Bell. Well, I think here in New York, you want out of this period and you want to reset. Right now, they've been giving up far too many scoring opportunities and scoring opportunities inside. And Montreal generates another one, and this really all starts from the stick of Laura Stacey. And you look at her get in on this four check, and she beats three white jerseys to get this puck loose. And then Kristen O'Neill feeds this in front. Looks like this is going to pop up and over. A little more dangerous than it wound up being another great scoring chance for Montreal. Montreal defending. They'll just send it down. Final. Seconds of the first period back in the New York zone and the shots have been relatively even or were until Montreal just started putting on the pressure. And of course, sometimes the shot count is deceptive in terms of where the shots come from. Montreal's really found their way inside. And so New York try to carry it over the blue line. They get it there as the horn sounds. Checking in now with PWHL points leader and the leader for New York, Ella Shelton. Ella, your team has been in this position before recently and were able to mount that comeback. What is your mindset at uh, when you're approaching this uh, chat with your team in the locker room? Yeah, I think for us, it's just getting back to what makes us successful as a team. And I think that's focusing on our 3S, you know, being fast and physical. And I think that'll allow us to have some more flow to this game. Your first matchup against Montreal was just six days ago. It was a 5-2 loss for New York, but what were you able to learn in that game that you're hoping to bring into this one? Yeah, I think they have some pretty speedy players out there. I mean, they have some pretty quick forwards that test this defense, and uh, I think for us it's just rechecking our shoulders and uh, being good supports down low and bringing the park out clean, and we'll find ourselves some more offensive time zone. New York visiting Montreal for the first time. This is Montreal's first game, though, at Place Bell. And Rene Debian in net for the team in Burgundy, but we're headed the other way. Teresa Vanisova taking it wide, getting that pressure from Bourbonnet. Bourbonnet will free the puck. Rock 
tries to clear it in Montreal. Nearly takes it away, Rock, this time. She'll carry it out. Looks for Carpenter. Carpenter plays keep away with Murphy and New York. Trying to set up their system. Maureen Murphy already with an assist tonight. That's a smart decision just to dump that puck in. She recognizes that her line mates have gone to the bench, so she wants to give them an opportunity to change. And O'Neill, she's got some room. She looks for a shot. That one didn't quite get to Levy. Abigail Levy in net for New York. Just her second start of the season. First one was against Montreal in New York less than a week ago. Katie Tabin takes it away now for Montreal. She's coming up fast near side, shoots. Kicked away, and again, Bette, that one. Not quite hard enough, and Chloe Orard will chase it down for New York. Orard with room. She tries to get a shot off. That one's blocked easily by Catherine Daou. New York again, trying to send it back quick. They spent a lot of time at Felbecki in their own zone, deep in their own zone. In that first period. Well, yeah. Woods. yeah, absolutely, they did. And I think, you know, but for both these teams, you go to the room and the first period's over and it's all about resetting now, coming back and seeing what you can accomplish in the second. If you're in New York again, you're putting that period behind you. Yeah, two nothing deficit. They faced it Sunday in Minnesota, a team that hadn't lost at home, hadn't lost at all actually on the season. And it was New York that delivered that first loss to Minnesota and the chase is on down deep in Montreal. Both teams having a bit of a struggle right now early in the second period with that. Jane Downing Landry takes the draw for New York and wins it. So New York now coming in. Jaguar shoots again. Body block that one by Aaron Ambrose. She's known for that. Just a little bit, hey? Well, that's a great <laughs> defensive play. And you know what? There's one thing to be skilled, but that's just a hard work thing, a grit thing. And that's tough as a coach. You can't teach that. And someone like Aaron Ambrose and a lot of these women, extremely competitive, willing to throw your body in front of that puck. That's what it takes for your team to be successful. Now the block shots in the PWHL, very impressive and honestly mounting in numbers as well. Well, and you're trying to make it t difficult for a team coming into the zone. This is a really nice entry and then just cut back to the forehand. But Ambrose gets down, gets her body in front of that puck to deny that opportunity. And they cut back into the middle like that. That's a good position to shoot from. So Hobson now plays it back and around and looks to get it to Norcross. Montreal takes over in the neutral zone. Daou. Looking for that clear lane on the near side, but Norcross again in the mix. Downey Landry. And get by Catherine Dubois. Again, just her third game for Montreal, being called up as a reserve player. Down Downey Landry in the feet, but Madison Packer with some control in the Montreal zone. Kristen O'Neill with speed for Montreal. She's got room. Looks for the shot, it gets deflected. Dubois right there. And O'Neill back on the chase for Montreal. Stacy keeps it in the offensive zone, drives the action. Levy with a big stop. Norcross now looks to clear it. That pass ends up on Stacy's stick and O'Neill as well. Now Laganier, she thought she had the puck and it's just loose trailing behind her. And good pressure by Montreal here in the second period. Kristen O'Neill carries it over the blue line. Uses the end boards in front. And that one just wide. Levy spreading out for that one. Laganier can't keep it on side. New York getting into the near wall. The crowd not liking what they're seeing, but the battle is on. The officials watching closely. And New York comes away with it. Montreal's been really pouring on the pressure the last couple of shifts. Again, really good scoring chances, getting themselves into the middle of the ice. Bourbonnet looking to set it up. Got Hobson near side this time. And in the slot is Jesse Eldridge for New York. Abby Rock rocking it. Well, Abby Rock can do it all, and she's a skilled player, but she's a big player as well. And when she throws her body, you're going to feel it. She plays a physical game. 
And that is the PWHL's game, too. Physical and skilled. A rock with a shot. Bodies block it. Can hardly get off. Now in front of the net of Debian. Montreal. Clears it out easily. Jamie Bourbonnet serves it back the other way. Alex Carpenter with a feed to Eldridge. Eldridge looking to get by Lagunier. Shoots and that one picked up by Rock. Dropped back to Eldridge and Zafudo can't keep it on the blue line, but. And New York just trying to find a way to get a little bit of sustained pressure. Zafudo with a wide pass this time. Laura Stacy with a couple of really good scoring opportunities on her last shift, and she's really making things happen out there. She seals off the boards to be able to turn this puck over and then turns on the Jets, keeps her feet moving, cuts to the middle to get that scoring chance, and then she gets this one point blank out front. And this has been the story of Montreal's game, getting themselves into that slot area. And just as quickly, Kristen O'Neill with the speed chasing down Ella, Ella Shelton. Gets with the puck first, but still in the New York zone now. Jamie Bourbonnet. Again, New York just looking to get on the board. They were down 2 nothing on the weekend and made the comeback, but haven't had a chance yet to score. They are special teams masters in that sense. Both of their goals, first goals in regulation, were on the power play. And this is kind of a power play. It's four on four. A bit more space. Alex Carpenter chases it down. Eldridge tees it up. DBM with a big save. Sends it away. Still in the Montreal zone, though. Bourbonnet collecting it. This is a dangerous group for New York. You've got two defensemen or had two defensemen on the ice in Ella Shelton and Bourbonnet that bring a lot of offense. Of course, Alex Carpenter as well as Eldridge. And Hobson just doing it all herself, bringing the puck down below the goal line. Eldridge can't keep it on her stick. And this is where Vanasova gets a chance. Vanasova shoots, and that's just wide. Bowls over Abigail Lee. Woods, of course, your big, big goal scorer last game for this team. So some dangerous players. So four on three, advantage to New York at this time. Two for two on road power plays. Shelton, in the high slot. It's a back to Bourbonnet. Shelton again. Just got to get by Ambrose though. And now Bourbonnet. What a big stop by Davian. Just calm, cool, collected. Into the body. Especially with the, the screen that she has out front. And Alex Carpenter goes to the net, but look at this puck movement. They're just patiently waiting. Alex Carpenter just continues to move. You watch her in front of Davian, just trying to get in her into her face. And you can see when Davian has to move her head like that, that Carpenter's doing a good job out front. You want to make things hard on that goalie. Shelton has the puck again back to Bourbonnet. Bourbonnet teeing it up near side. Shelton from the high slot. Carpenter out as well. Shield coming close. Shoot. Bodies in front, and that one gets cleared out. Well, I like the switch there. I like Emma Woods in front of the net. A little bit more than Alex Carpenter. You got a shot like that. You want to take advantage of it. Final seconds of this four on three for New York. Shelton, big shot by Bourbonnet. She scores! Jamie Bourbonnet does the work, and New York gets on the board a massive goal in Montreal. And that was some really nice puck movement to open up Bourbonnet at the top. And then she gets that one timer off. And you see that cross seam pass. And then that little hesitation like Shelton's going to the net. She opens up Bourbonnet at the top and then Bourbonnet releases this shot. It's that hesitation up to the top. And then Bourbonnet is able to fire that missile.
and beat Debian. Her first PWHL goal. So all three goals in this game, Becky, first for the players. Of course, we're going to see a lot of that. It's still fairly young in the season. Young, but not young in a 24-game season. Olivia Zafudo carrying the puck, dumping it down. Downey Landry chasing it. In deep, rather, Emma Woods. Emma Woods gets her stick on it. Taylor Baker sends it back. Abby Rock looking for that feed, possibly to Orard. And now's a big shot from the point. Hops and Debian will cover it up and end up folded around Chloe Orard. Well, Debian comes out aggressively to make sure she can get a glove on that puck. Orard is right there on the doorstep doing a good job driving the net, but really, all of this starts with Abby Rock in the corner, and she's so strong down low. She wins this battle and gets it up top to the point. That's a nice tip as well to make things difficult for Davian. She's able to make the save. Alex Carpenter just recorded an assist on that goal by Jamie Bourbonnet, her third of the season. Takes that draw. And by the way, Ella Shelton now tied with Venisova in this game for those assists in the lead, both at five apiece. Seem to be battling it back and forth. Of course, Shelton's a defenseman, though. So, you know, sometimes it's a little bit more impressive from the back end when you're able to rack up the <laughs> points like that. Well, six of these players on the ice tonight, six of them are the league's, are in the league's top ten, 10 scorers. So just goes to show the skill and talent on both of these teams. New York able to... Get on the board here in the second. Montreal's first two goals in the first period. First time playing at Place Bell. And in the near, on the near side rather. Puck goes loose back below the goal line. And Norcross, she'll find some room. Far side this time, big wide circle. She's got Packer in front. And Montreal takes it away, Kristen O'Neill this time. He dishes it to Bette. Bette rims it around. And New York will take it now. LaBelle. Catherine Dubois collects it. They'll just go back and forth here. What's well, it? Just that rim breakout when you're under pressure. Rim that puck. Get your winger to the boards and let them chip it out, battle it out, and then see if you can create anything off the loose puck or the chip puck in the neutral zone. Aaron Ambrose looking for a feed to Dalton, but Zafudo in the mix, but here comes Montreal. Big shot by Poulin, batted away by Levy. Poulin always there to collect those rebounds, her own at that. Well, she had Bougeau driving the net, so it looked like maybe she was just trying to throw that puck on net to create something. Downey Landry. Indy Bougeau. Out on the ice as well. The battle for it on the near wall. Aaron Ambrose in the mix. New York with a shot. That one stopped midway by Bougeau. Still waiting for it. Mariah Keppel for Montreal. Feeds it to Vanisova. And it's Brooke Hobson, or rather Emma Woods, able to stop the shot before it even gets near Abigail. We need puck loose again. In the Montreal zone, Montreal still in control. Bizzle looks defeated to the captain. Far side, she'll rim it around, off to the bench. And Bizzle getting caught up on this New York line, and Abby Rock chases it down. Leah Lum instead. And well, some physical play, and O'Rourke looks like she's a little shaken up from that hit coming down the wall, and then Venisova just steps into Orar, takes her out of the play. Little shoulder on shoulder to take her out. Creates a good turnover for Montreal. They're able to go back down and create a scoring chance off of that. Well, these teams have already played each other once before, and it was less than a week ago. It was a 5-2 win for Montreal. New York has called it their revenge tour, this four road game stretch, and there's some more physical play as Peyton Levis gets frustrated. 
starts to bat at the feet, but plays on Stacy with a feed to O'Neill. Shelton pokes it free, a shot. Plenty of traffic in front. Abigail Levy able to read it along the near wall. Digging it out, Alex Carpenter. He's got speed and some support. She gets by Dao. What an inside out move. And Ella Shelton collects it in the New York zone. Sends it down deep, and it'll be an icing call. Of course, you got a group from New York that is stuck out on the ice. They're not able to make that change, so it could be a bit of an advantage for Montreal here. Ambrose takes the draw. Lynn just tries to release that shot. It gets absolutely muffled by New York. Well, if you're on the ice with Poulin, you got to know that she's dangerous from the tops of the circles. And she can shoot from further distance than a lot of players and be dangerous from that distance. Pluto with a nice feed to Baker, but Vanek Sova battling for it. Tries with the wraparound in front is Maureen Murphy. That could have been another chance. Pujot was right there, big. Keppel, and there's a shot. That one. That's a nice backdoor pass by Keppel. Yeah, Maureen Murphy also teed up down low. Keppel again shoots towards Levy that time into the glove. Well, that one's an easy save for Levy to make and give her team a chance to get this change. Another scoring chance for Montreal inside that home plate area. Maureen Murphy this time is wide open. It's Venezuela down below the goal line that does some good work to create that separation, get the puck out front, and Murphy is wide open and all on her own, and that has happened a lot tonight for Montreal. It's got to be a topic of conversation for New York. Let me go back to the dressing room again. Is taking care of that house. Kristen O'Neill gets her stick on the puck in the face-off circle, but not a clean win for Montreal. Trying to maintain possession. Joanna Fellman helping New York get out. Now Emma Woods, and she's got Abby Rock right there. Shoots. And that one back behind the net. Elizabeth Giguere as well out for New York, but it's Montreal will play it towards the net. Gets the shot off. Now in front, Laura Stacy. She shoots, and Abigail Levy absolutely covers every inch of the ice on that one. Well, she's a big goaltender. She can get post to post pretty quickly. But Laura Stacy, what a great wraparound opportunity to take this in on her own. Montreal again, that's a long shot just to try to create something. And Laura Stacy gets in on this loose puck and tries to jam away at it. New York recipients of a pretty quick, quick whistle. But that puck wasn't completely smothered when that whistle went. And you can see Stacy bottling it out in front to try to create something there. Yeah, Johanna Bellman as well, kind of getting in the mix there with Laura Stacy. The team's reset here. Some conversations. Looks like we will reset in the same face-off circle. Joe will take this one against Alex Carpenter. Carpenter wins it. Bourbonnet. Goal scorer for New York on that first goal. Now coming up against Dalton, Bougeau looks to free it for Montreal. Dalton now back behind the net of Levy. She'll go wide, feed it up high. Tabin with a shot, no David, and in front, big chances and a scramble. Bougeau was there, Dalton was there. And now New York, they'll take it away. Jesse Eldridge looks to get by. And that one will get called. Katie Taven's going to go to the penalty box this time for two minutes. Two minutes or less, and we always qualify that in any game, but I think it's important here with the jailbreak opportunity. Of course, Taven is signaling that it's a dive. The referee is not buying it. And in comes Taven. She steps up here. Of course, that's another big hit. Got her hands up maybe just a little bit, just enough for this penalty to be called. But a nice one-on-one, -on -one, but you can see those gloves come up just under the cage. And so she's going to come to the box. I got to think if she kept her hands down, maybe the referees would have let that go. New York scored on their first chance on the power play in the final few seconds of it, actually. Bourbonnet to Shelton. Tease it up for Rock. Rock brings it back into the slot. Just has to keep away from Laura Stacy. Offensive-minded PK certainly does 
not only get your team on the board if they can score shorthanded, but freeze that player in the penalty box. And Bourbonnet tees it up. That one hard into the end boards. This New York power play is very deadly, and they had a pair of goals in that comeback win on the power play against Minnesota, so definitely an area that they're looking to take advantage of. And so a roughing penalty, that is what brings York to this five on four power play situation they haven't had because it was four on four and then four on three. So this one, first chance in this game, Bourbonnet. Tease it up again, high slot. Looks for the pass. Gets it to Alex Carpenter. Bourbonnet winds up again. That one just wide rockets or stick on it briefly, but it's been Montreal with plenty of ice and Poulin. Oh, but Bourbonnet pokes it off the stick. Some handy work, but Hobson up high. Levy gloves it. Or Bizzell, rather. The other number six on the ice in Burgundy. Of course, there's some incentive to go on the offense we just talked about. The fact that you can break your player out of the penalty box if you score shorthanded. So Mary Philippe Poulin comes down, just tries that toe drag, is not able to get past Bourbonnet. The puck pops back out to Montreal to get the point shot. What a play by Jamie Bourbonnet. It is a New York power play, 55 seconds left. In the New York zone we go. Downey Landry wins it. So Peyton Levis will carry it out. She goes near side, just got to get by Aaron Ambrose. Loose puck now. Laura Stacy looks to meet it. Hobson tries to keep it in. Abigail Levy will leave it there for Taylor Baker. No, send it around instead. All that pressure from Kristen O'Neill. Yeah, that's Hobson. a smart decision to send that puck around when you're you got that kind of pressure bearing in on your defenseman. Emma Woods picks it up far side. Oh, and that one interrupted by Laura Stacy. As Brooke Hobson settles it back. 15 seconds left on this five on four. Chance to tie the game here for New York. They did it on the power play on Sunday when they were down 2 0 against. Minnesota now, Jay Downey Landry tries to get her stick on him. Montreal and Taven out of the penalty box, right into the play. Taven shoots that one wide. Mariah Keppel, Downey Landry scoops it up far side for New York. And shoots on Davian with a big stop there. Just one shot on goal for New York in that power play. Well, that's a good job of Montreal on the penalty kill and a good job to pressure pucks when they had loose pucks. Taven does a really good job to get back and negate this opportunity. You can see her driving to the net to make sure that she takes her player away. Jillian Dempsey battling it for Montreal. Chloe Arard looking to get behind the net of Davian. And that one just off the post, deflected backwards is by Ellis Shelton, but Montreal with some big feeds. Daid can't settle it before Shelton puts that pressure on behind. David, that one turned aside by Levy. David already with a goal, her first in the PWHL in the first period. Final minute here in the second, and Lafour can connect. Orard sends it over. To Jiguer. It's a good job of Davian to set that puck so her defenseman can come back, pick it up. Well, Teresa Vanisova getting caught up on Eldridge. She was coming down the ice in New York, able to take over back behind their own goal line. Gotta feed it out. Bourbonnet up to Eldridge. Big passes here. LaBelle can't keep it in, and Bourbonnet settles it back. Final 20 seconds here. Carpenter instead for New York will battle for it. Rock along the New York blue line. Poulin has it now, and she's going to put on the speed. Just got to get by Eldridge, and Hobson sends it around. Daou, and there's the horn. So Montreal scoreless in the second period. Plenty of chances, though. 
Well, we're getting word that Montreal's Laura Stacy is with us now. Laura, great to have you very quickly. We're talking about the physical play in this game. You're feeling it down there, ice level. But with a 2-1 lead, how is Montreal looking to put this game away? Yeah, I think we need to keep things simple, keep putting pucks on net, and, and keep putting the pedal to the metal. We don't want to sit back and just play defensively and, and hold the lead. We want to keep going at them, keep putting pucks to the net, uh, and keep, keep, keep sticking to that game plan that's worked for us so far. And I'm just going to ask you as well about the physical play, but also about these new rivalries that are forming. You faced New York not even a week ago. Uh, for you, does it add that little bit of extra motivation? Of course, you weren't in that first game against New York, so what has it been like out there? For sure, it's uh, it's extremely physical, and obviously uh, it, it's a short season here, so every game matters, every point matters. Uh, they're a great team over there, they're physical, uh, and we got to bring that same inten intensity here in the third period, if not more, uh, and keep going at them, like I said. Here we are, 2-1 lead for Montreal to start the third period. They can pull this off. Montreal becomes the first Canadian team in the PWHL to win at home. Still a tough task with 20 minutes left on the board. Montreal ices this puck, so New York will get this offensive zone face-off. And two of the best face-off artists in the game going at it right here, and Alex Carpenter, Marie-Philippe Poulin. So they'll go again, this time. On the right of Debian, a shot right away, it's good! She scores! Jesse Eldridge makes it look too easy. Well, and just like that, New York has tied this game up. And we talked about face-offs, the importance of face-offs. Alex Carpenter wins this one, and she wins it clean. Eldridge just walks in and snaps this one. Looks like it may have hit something. It was a little deceptive for Debian. Again, we'll take another look. And that one goes upstairs. And if you're in New York, you got to be feeling pretty good. So now back-to-back -back games where you're able to cut a 2-0 deficit. Sure, we're back now. Anybody's game, it always is anybody's game, but 2-2 Montreal and New York. Abigail Levy in net tonight. By the way, Kareem Schroeder, who was in that game on Sunday, faced the most shots ever in a single game. Minnesota putting 41 shots on that net. Well, New York doing exactly what they wanted to here, which is silencing this crowd. Laura Stacy, she'll be one to change things for Montreal, given the chance Kristen O'Neill teed up right near Levy. But it's Ella Shelton with some quick stick work. Emma Woods takes it away, shot. Gerard was right there, but Debian plays it well. Support from her teammates. And now Leah Lam, she's got a goal. She shoots high that time. Dempsey. And Montreal again, finding some space. Taylor Baker gets her stick on it. Lum finds some space over to Bizzle. Bizzle and Dempsey bats at it. Carpenter just hoping to clear it. Lum keeps it in play for Montreal in the, in the offensive zone. Carpenter sends it over to Eldridge. Just scored that equalizer for New York. And what a way to start the third period. Oh, absolutely for New York. You're putting your game plan together, and what do you have to do to get back in this game? And just like that, you are in it. Jay Downey Landry drops it for Bourbonnet. Bourbonnet tees it up right in front. Kick save. Dalton will carry it away for Montreal far side. Chips it over. Bourbonnet seemingly everywhere on the ice, but it's Dalton who redirects for Montreal. Takes it to the near corner. Has it back Hobson. Again, Downey Landry. Oh, she's getting caught up there on Sarah Bougeau. Kayla Vespa brings it back into the Montreal zone. Bourbonnet once again below that goal line. Tough to stay on their feet here. Both teams sliding on that one, and Montreal settles it back. Aaron Ambrose. Well, that was just another good rub out along the boards. 
to Catherine Dubois. Another one. Catherine Dubois is taking a bit of a beating on this shift. If you want to go down the boards, you're going to pay a price. Well, New York fired up. They get that second goal early here in the third period. All tied up at Belfast. And Madison Packer puts a shot on net. What a play by Teresa Vanasova. She comes in fast. She's got it on Levy. And the net goes with her. There'll be a penalty. Well, this time it looks like Vanasova has drawn the penalty. That's the second time this game she has driven the net hard. This time, though, she's the one taken down. And it's Montreal that's going to go to the power play. Taylor Baker heading to the penalty box for New York. Well, Vanasova certainly not scared to take this puck to the net. She keeps her feet moving. She's on her forehand side. She drives in just trying to pull it to the forehand. Yeah, you can Back see the, the hold, the hold call there for Taylor Baker. Yeah, absolutely. That stick gets wrapped around. And that's a good penalty to take. New York will send it down into the Montreal zone. Again, the shorthanded goal frees your player from the penalty box. Also gets you a much needed goal, both these teams. Trying to take the lead here in the third period. The lead Montreal has had since that first goal by Gabrielle David. And now Laura Stacy tees it back. Just a bit too much, and DPM plays it out. Poulin. Dabian's so confident coming out of her net, and what a help for her team when she comes out like that and makes that first pass. Ambrose kind of stick handle her way through it. Murphy out on the line, too, and again, teeing it up. Ambrose cycles a big shot by Poulin. She goes down on one knee for that one. She'll does she shoot, pass. Back to Ambrose. Trying to create some space right in front. And it is Catherine Dubois right in front of the net of Abigail Levy. Bourbonnet tries to send it past the blue line. Abby Rock chips it there. The whistle sound. Laura Stacy brings that puck in just a little bit too soon, and that play is going to be offside. Montreal getting in and getting set up on this power play, really trying to spread out the box. Now they are going to have a very good opportunity as Abby Rock is going to the penalty box. Looks like this is going to be a rough in call. Huge opportunity for Montreal. Just 23 seconds left in the initial penalty give them this five on three. Well, this is how New York scored that first goal. They had a five on three. Time was winding see, down on that and then scored. You can see that penalty just on the right of the screen. Abby Rock and that's not, that's, we talked about good penalties and ones that aren't so good. That's not one you want to take and grab a hold of your opposition's head. And so five on three, 19 seconds left there for Montreal. Ambrose. It up, Moulin. Stacy could have been. But Shelton in the way. Covering Stacy. And so Montreal. Final second there. So now it's five on four. Taylor Baker out of the box. Here comes Montreal. They've got time and space and no puck to shoot. Well, that's a great pass by Marie Philippe Moulin to Maureen Murphy. And she just brings that the fourth. Unit penalty kill down low and then is able to make that pass up top. Maureen Murphy just can't. Still plenty of time on this power play. Their third of the game, second of this period, back to back for Montreal. Having a hard time getting in and getting set up right now. He did come into this game with the second worst power play in the league. The goal would certainly change things. Montreal now, David, looking for that feed. It just goes on its own. Catherine Daou settles it back behind the net of Debian. Got time, Montreal Bette. She's got room. It's a nice feed over in front, and that is stopped by Levy. David chases it down. Taven there too for Montreal. Along the near wall, Norcross in the mix. And New York Shelton 
sends it all the way to the other net. Norcross now getting in close. Five seconds left for this five on four for Montreal. Norcross getting in on that four check, and we've seen her speed a bit to tonight. Abby Rock back out on the ice, and so back to even strength. Two major penalty kills. Montreal only getting one shot on net in that last power play opportunity. They'll do it even strength. That's how they've done it before, Bougeau. Feeling the end boards now digging in a board battle. Rard and Bourbonnet for New York. Rard gets her stick on it, but now O'Neill can't get control. Leah Lum tees it up. Big shot, that one wide again for Montreal. They've had some looks, and Bougeau will scoop it up. Alex Carpenter with her stick on it, and New York now bringing the action down into the Montreal zone. Emma Woods pressing. Downey Landry ends up passing over to Montreal. Johanna Fowlman will settle it back for New York. Good. They had a fantastic third period in Minnesota, but it was an overtime winner by Emma Woods that did it for New York in that game on the weekend. Downey Landry shoots. And what a stop by Davian, the goaltending. Dialed in here, but New York gets on the board early. New York, the chance now in the offensive zone. That gets absolutely blocked now. Teresa Vanasova, she's coming hot on the goaltender a few times, but now looking to play it. Claire Dalton getting caught up. That one back behind, wrapped around. At least brought into the near side wall, rather, by Poulin. Aaron Ambrose. From the far point, Mariah Keppel feeling that pressure from Jamie Bourbonnet by Vanasova. Chips it out, Poulin there to collect, far wall. Ambrose through heavy traffic. And that catches some bodies in the middle, now another chance. Dalton feeds it through, it's right in front. Levy with massive stop for New York. But it's still Montreal's puck, Keppel. That one right into Alex Carr. What a block. Dempsey back to Ambrose. High slot. Looking for patience. Traffic in front. That one wide. Keppel will collect it. Far wall. Send it back. Hops in there for New York. Big save by Levy to keep New York in it. Tied at two. That second goal for New York here in the third period. Taven. Daoud Taven takes it again. Big shot up high that time. Looked like Levy got a glove on it. And New York just trying to clear it out. Peyton Levis does it. New York under some pressure right now. And Katie Taven had a nice shot from the point. Just took a little off it just to make sure it got through. Downey Landry trying to find some space. Just got to get by Taven. Now Elizabeth Jiguer, Emma Woods in front. That one, she fires off Davian. Montreal can't keep their eye on it quite, or rather New York, and so David looked to capitalize. Katie Taven may have gotten away with a penalty at the blue line. She got that stick up and wrapped around. You can hear the crowd give a bit of a ooh. I think they knew too. Emma Woods beats the puck along the far wall, drops it back for Downey Landry. Jiguer. For New York, she's got some space. Pressure from Bette. Force to the outside. And Sophie Bette, she'll take it away. She shoots off the body. And New York collects that one, that blocked shot. Coming in, LaBelle, Davian. And there it goes. Players just jumping over goaltenders. Well, that might attract a little bit of attention. And Leah Lum's in there just to make sure her goaltender's okay. And of course, you got a goalie like Ken Rene Debian. You don't want a whole lot of that. But that's a nice net drive. And that's one thing both of these te two teams have been doing such a good job of. She looked a little shaken up from that hit. She seeks a little bit of attention, but she's back in the net now, having a little conversation. But that was a pretty big collision. Navi Rock.
Rock for New York takes it. After that offensive zone draw and Shelton, she tries to shoot through traffic. There's another chance. Orard, Shelton again tees it up. Big stops by Debian. Turned away in Montreal. Oh, take it out of their own zone. Vanasova puts on the speed. Drives in front of Levy. That stopped. Abigail Levy standing tall for New York. Shots Looks on goal only favoring Montreal slightly, 27 to 26. Looks like New York may have changed their lines just a little bit. Abby Rock was not out with Alex Carpenter last shift, but she was out centering this line right now. So maybe a little switch on the New York bench. Seemed to work out all right. This line gets a chance. A little bit of ozone time at Abby Rock and Woods. And that's a nice point blank shot. Montreal does a good job to take away that stick back door. And then again, who's driving the net? Venezuela. Different side this time. She's coming in on the other side. Speed from Emma Woods to just slide right in there, but back to it. And now Bette has a chance. She shoots and Abigail Levy. Bette just delayed a little looking for some reinforcements and then took the puck to the net. Woods. Uses the M boards to get around. New York goes for a line change. Abby Rock down deep. Bette. That pass stopped by Eldridge. But Bette again in the right place. Just got to get by. Weaves through, shoots. Kick save by Levy into the near side. Carpenter. She tries to play it out. And now, big chance, that one. Looked like Poulin was trying to shoot back the other way as she's going to her left, just try to pull that puck back to the glove side. New York, heat up. Carpenter tries to keep her eyes on it. Now Montreal, Murphy to Bougeau. Dubois as well out on the ice. And New York shoots, and Davian will make sure that out. Great goaltending on both ends of the ice. Montreal's defenseman made sure that they did a good job to come back and protect ABN this time. A couple of good scoring opportunities, and this one comes out to Bette. She looks, you can see her look over her shoulder for some reinforcements, realizes she's all on her own, takes that shot, and then New York back down the other way. This one's from a bit of distance. ABN does a good job just to hold on to that one. Manisova scoops up the loose puck, and now a chance for Montreal. Poulin was just dialed in there, high slot. Murphy. It's for a teammate, Montreal. Can't keep it in the offensive zone that time. Ambrose. She'll add some speed. Fires it down deep. Poulin and Bourbonnet rush to the end. Bourbonnet. Going to get by Vanisova. Picked up her fifth assist of the season. Murphy now in front. They score! Mm -hmm. Captain Marie Philippe Poulin, where she needed to be. And just like that, and that's what she has the ability to do. But this is really Maureen Murphy with a beautiful feed to find Poulin on the back door. Maureen Murphy picks off of this, picks off this pack, to passes Aaron Pass, and then takes a look, finds Poulin. Poulin able to corral that puck in on her backhand. And you see she just stops, gets that stick open, and finds the back of the net. That's a beautiful feed and a great job on her backhand. Marie Philippe Poulin. It's got to feel good. Poulin denied in that overtime game on the weekend. Well, she'll get goal number three for Montreal in this game in regulation. And a big lead now for the home team. Eldridge tests ABM right away. New York looks to even things out again. Levis adding some speed. She's looking for the pass. Has some help, but Catherine Dau working for Montreal now. Jamie Bourbonnet. You know, and Poulin had that penalty shot in Ottawa, and the crowd booed her. It almost sounded a little bit the same here when they said boo, but they are booing this time. Jamie Bourbonnet. It's the goal that 6,000 fans here wanted to see. 
And now David looks for her second. She shoots. Levy turns it away. Jaguar gives chase. Now Vespa. She feeds it over. New York now contending with a crowd that's singing. A happy crowd with Montreal in the lead right now. Well, right now it's going to come down to how Montreal wants to play this last five minutes. Of course, New York's going to be pushing for a goal. Montreal's going to probably settle into a bit of a defensive rhythm, which is that they've got to keep a player above the puck. They always want to have a third player high, especially in the offensive zone. New York able to get their equalizer early on in the third. Now Chloe O'Rard shoots. That one up high, Abby Rock right there. Emma Woods teed up. Poulin keeps the puck away. As Keppel collects it near wall. Danisova sends it over to Maureen Murphy. Maureen Murphy with two assists in this game. Well, that's just a smart play to get to the red line, recognize the situation, and put it in deep, get the line change. Laura Stacy, she tries to clear it out. Orard. Can't keep it there for New York. Baker. Laura Stacy puts that puck back down the boards towards New York's bench. I don't know if it was intentional, but that certainly creates a situation where they've got to be very careful. They don't have too many players on the ice. Eldridge now. Turning in at that one. A little too much on it. New York chasing it down. Levy will play it off. Levy with 27 saves in this game. Now Carpenter flying down, shoots. Debian pushes it away. Far side, Levis right there. She'll take it away for Montreal. And again, now New York shoots towards the net. O'Neal getting in the way for Montreal. Levis, far side, circles back, shoots. DBN covers, no. Still in play, back behind the net. Eldridge just got to get by. Catherine Dahou, here's a shot, that one high. Downey Landry with a one-timer. Verbené collects the rebound. Draws it back below the goal line. New York, plenty of time here in the Montreal zone. Final three minutes of regulation. Elizabeth Chiguer, she's looking to tee something up. Bourbonnet swarming. She opened scoring for New York. Downey Landry through traffic. It's a good play by O'Neill for Montreal to send it up to Bette. She gets caught up on Fellman and Jaguer. Now New York again, right in front. That one controlled. A penalty. Frustrated. They're going to call an elbowing on this play. And, you know, this really is just a product of New York doing such a good job to get the puck in the zone and put some pressure on Montreal. And this one-timer opens up. They have a couple of really good scoring opportunities. Watch this, just walking the lane, Levis. And then this puck goes right back out top. And they get another opportunity off of the one-timer. And then a backdoor play just can't quite connect. And, and we see that elbow down below the goal line. So this is a huge opportunity for New York right now. Two minutes and 23 seconds left on the clock, and they're going to go to the power play. You see Abby Rock back on that line with Carpenter. Gerbenet. Now Shelton, they'll bring it back. Carpenter trying to find some room. Shelton. Got all kinds of space near side. Sends it back to Carpenter, back to Shelton. Sticks on the ground low. Bourbonnet takes it. Pass back. Goalie's out of the net, so this is a six on four now. A big shot. Rock. Flex it far side. Six on four. Shelton shoots that one. Just wide. Woods there. Tries to collect it. New York. Carpenter. She shoots through traffic that time. And again, Eldridge tries to tee it up towards the net. Eldridge battles for it. There is an empty net on the New York side. Six on four. Carpenter to Bourbonnet. They'll stay on the ice. Shelton, the crowd booing here in Laval. Abby Rock. 
trying to find some space and just skips by. Shelton, far side. Back to Rock. They've got the time. Big shot. That one in front. Woods was right there. Now a penalty. Interference being called on Emma Woods. And the crowd's going to like that. Well, and Emma Woods a little incredulous that this was called. And she's going to go to the penalty box. That is a huge break for Montreal, who was having difficulty getting this puck back and getting it down the ice. Of course, a six on four is liable to do that for you, but this means the puck goes 200 feet down the ice. Montreal is going to get this offensive zone face off, and New York's going to put their goaltender back in the net. Yeah, Emma Woods got for goaltender interference, and that's the second goaltender interference call in this game, although the first one was taken by Montreal. So now it's four on four hockey. A minute five left in the third. Montreal with a lead. A hometown lead late here in regulation. That's a big shot off by Taba. Not quite how she wanted it. Abby Rock collect herself Bourbonnet. 32 seconds left for this. You see Levy just four. keeps trying to come out of the net and they turn the puck back again. She tries to leave New York, turns it back again. This time she's going to the bench. All right, so Levy out of the net. Carpenter with a puck. She shoots that one off the stick in the skate. Now Bourbonnet keeps it in check for New York. But Aaron Ambrose, she knows there's an empty net on the other side. Montreal has the lead. Well, it was a savvy play by Ambrose down below the goal line to fake that shot and turn back the other way. And now Katie Taven finds the puck, the crowd. And right there, Catherine Dahu out of the penalty box, getting right on Abby Rock. Montreal will just send it down deep. Why not? Final 10 seconds here as Montreal. The home crowd settled in. A crowd of 6,002 fans. Winters Tuesday night. Empty net for New York, so that's why it's five on five. Emma Woods in the penalty box. Alex Carpenter in the face-off circle, trying to win this on her strong side to Abby Rock. New York has to fight for it though. Tuning to the time right in front of the net. Carpenter was there. Final seconds. Wind down. Montreal.